Okay, welcome back for the third. Pittsburgh up 2-1 in the game and with a chance to go up 2-1 in the series here. So we get things started with uh, 15. That's one minute off the clock. Down to about the 19-minute mark. And 11, that's a chance for the Islanders to tie. Uh, Mike Bossy. Mike Bossy has it in the slot. Can he convert this time? Yes, he can. Bossy with a second of the game. Be right back. Okay, exactly 30 seconds into it. Mike Bossy ties the game here for Long Island, assisted by Brian Trottier. And Bossy's second of the game. Uh, Bossy's first was scored with 7.07 to go in the second period on the power play. Before that, Tockett had scored uh, 2.24 into the period, so it was 17.36 remaining. And yes, I did go back actually and add uh, time in for each of those goals because I had overlooked that. Anyway, another minute off the clock here, 18 to go in the third period. And 63, that's no chance for either side. 17. Chance for the Islanders actually to go ahead. See, that's Clark Gillies. Clark Gillies also in the slot. Can Barrasso make another big save? He had to make one earlier in the game. Four, he will not be able to. So they were down 2 nothing at one point, but the resilient New York Islanders have come back. They are ahead. That is Gillies. Oh, actually, I have to update. Oh, my goodness. I have to update the score. So it was 2-2 there momentarily for about a wink. That's an upside down, too. I don't know why these aren't in order. I thought they were. I was looking, actually, full disclosure, for the other seven before the game. I found it. Um, I'll just throw that back there. And uh, so it is 3-2 right now for the Islanders. Whoops. And Gillies, let's see who assisted on the goal. I'll just do this one live without pausing it. So Gillies, L3-D2. Um, I'll take 18 seconds, we'll say 17, 18. And uh, right wing, that's Mike Bossy, his third point of the, of the contest. And, uh, and then it says line, so that's Bossy and Trachier with the assist. Be right back. Okay, Gillies with his first of the game from Bossy and Trachier at the 242 mark of the third period. The Islanders are suddenly ahead after being down 2 0. And three more minutes, we're down to 14 and some change. Let's see. 94, a chance for Pittsburgh to tie. They could really use Lemieux right now. They get Francis instead. Francis from the blue line. Francis is unable to score from that far away. Uh, so Malant's and holding the Islanders in, keeping them ahead. Francis with a chance, though. And we're down to 10 minutes. 10 minutes, and we have another penalty here. Uh, X2, five for high sticking. Uh, that comes from Pittsburgh's reserves, and let's see what the Islanders have. Four and three, five for fighting. So Brent Sutter and Alf Samuelson. Sutter and Samuelson here. And I will fully admit this is something that I probably should go back and at some point look at the rules. Normally when there's a five-minute fight, that trumps all other penalties for me. One could argue that the five for high sticking uh, provoked this situation. Um, but Sutter here and Samuelson, they're going to fight and get 5-4 fighting. And we're just going to play even strength. So, And again, if that's breaking a rule, I do that consistently for all teams. Three more off the clock here. We have seven to go in the third period. And 40, that's no chance for either side. Now, that remember this, well, it says right there, it's 3-2 uh, New York Islanders. Um... 16, however, that will be a chance for the Islanders, actually, to add to their lead. The chance goes to player G. Hopefully that's not Sutter. No, it is Nystrom. Nystrom, who scored twice last game from the faceoff circle. Unable to add to that series total here, but Nystrom with the chance. And Okay, so we're down to two minutes. Pitts, this is uh, in danger of getting away from Pittsburgh. They were up in game two. They won game one. They were up in game two. Uh, and they have a chance to score here and tie the game, possibly sending it to sudden death. And there's Joe Mullen with it. Joe Mullen from the faceoff circle. And Joe Mullen, Melanson, is going to be counted on to make a big save here. Is he able to do it this time? With a six, indeed he will. So Melanson showing why. The Islanders would want to opt for him over Billy Smith. He gets a big save on a Joe Mullen scoring opportunity here late. And with just over two minutes to go, it's still 3-2 Long Island. So down to the zero-minute mark. Um, it wouldn't have mattered either way, actually, had Pittsburgh pulled their goalie prior to that. I will pull the goalie for the Penguins here in the final minute, though, see if we can get a goal and not surrender an empty netter. 
and there's nothing here and I will flip this final card and again this is a homebrew rule just to see if there is a zero minute there isn't one and there's no goal or empty net goal or anything like that so the final score here in game three it is three two for the New York Islanders they go ahead two one in the series after being down one nothing after game one um Though it's uh, though it's never expected, it's always appreciated, uh, by which I mean any engagement or anything like that on YouTube. But anyway, I think I'm just going to wrap this one up for now. Um, yeah, good game, Islanders, and good night.